The Old Testament, in an Old Testament mindset, is always based on a Christianity that is outside of you. It's never based on a Christianity inside of you. God is always out there having to do something to lead you, come this way. He, he gets in front of you with a you know, fire or smoke or something. And, but he doesn't... It, you have to realize, people in the old covenant, people that were not born again, were dead spiritually. God could not lead them by the Spirit. So they were dead spiritually. So he had to give them signs and things, right? Physical things, feelings even. And in the New Testament, see, here's the thing. Under the Old Testament, they had a nature. And God was constantly trying to tell them, listen, if you have, well, what he gave them in the law. When he gave them the law, he gave them the law so that they would be able to see what his nature was. His nature was that, and if his nature was in you, then your nature would be that you would not bear false witness against a brother. If his nature was in you, then your nature would be you would not steal. You see? He wasn't just trying to give them rules don't do this, well, but there's no rule against this, so it's okay to do this thing. Well, it goes back to loving God and loving people, okay? But that nature, see, the, the problem was not the people's actions. The problem was their nature. Their nature was dead. And he said, a dead nature does these things. So I'm telling you, don't do these things that a dead nature would do. And that was all a buildup to show people, yes, my nature is dead. Yes, I need life. And the law was given to do what? To bring us to Christ. So that we could look and go, we need Christ. Why? Because that ain't my nature. So whenever you come to Christ, the essence of coming to Christ in Christianity is his nature being put into us. So we, we are, if we are born again, now I'm not talking about just religious people that go to church, but if we are born again, his nature is in us. Now, our, our head sometimes still gets in the way. Why? Why? Because we've trained ourselves to think and therefore to act with our bodies a certain way. But even if you have a different nature in you, then there are habits and things that you will still sometimes do, and you will hate yourself for it. And then you get into shame and guilt and condemnation and all that stuff. And that's where at, at least 95% of all Christians live. Shame, guilt, condemnation, why? Because the thing they would do, they don't. And the thing they don't want to do, they do. Like Paul said in Romans chapter 7. And so, now, but now notice, when you have that new nature in you, and then because of knowledge, you start to find out what that new nature is like. Why, if I sin, do I feel so bad? Well, that's because that's not who you are anymore. Right? You have a new nature, and, the, and that new nature is struggling inside of you, and the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And so you got this inner struggle going on. And the more you yield to the spirit, and therefore don't yield to the flesh, the less struggle you have. Why? Because you're learning who you are. Isn't that simple? Yes. Now, here's the thing. When it comes to being led by the spirit, if you're a new creation and you have a new nature, you are given automatically, as we would say, predisposed to do the right thing. You are predisposed. That's why it bothers you when you don't. That's why. So you are predisposed. Why? Because that nature in you wants to do the right thing. And you've given your heart to God. You've given it to Jesus. And now you're saying, I want to be like him. He's my Lord. And I'm, and I'm trying to follow as closely as I can. And then you can hear all kinds of teachings about that. And you get all messed up because you're trying to follow every teaching. And you end up not just stopping and realizing God's purpose in your life was to give you a new nature. Now, here's the thing. 
You can have an old nature and you can hide it. Why? Because people are around. You, 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 okay. There are people who would steal if they didn't think they'd be seen or caught. And the only reason they don't do it is because they would get caught. Now, that's a person with a dead nature. They're not born again. You got that? Now, a person with a live nature, live spirit, you could leave them in a room with money on the table and they wouldn't take it. Why? Because their nature is the nature of God that was put into them. Now, Peter talks about this and he said that by these precious promises, we become partakers of the divine nature. So we have these promises that teach us how to live according to our spirit. So what so the whole Bible is, is dealing with our soul. And it informs us about the condition of our spirit, good or bad. But the whole idea that the Bible is telling you information and information that you need to learn has to be to the soul. Why? Because your spirit doesn't need information. Your spirit knows. Amen? And so that's the problem is that most people have not received a new nature. Now, here's the thing. Whenever you receive, you see, the Old Testament saints were servants under the house of Moses, you might say. And so, but a servant doesn't know what his father does. So a servant has to be told and trained and kept under. Okay? In other words, they have to be, there has to be a tutor, there has to be, or governor is the way Galatians was said, that they have to be kept trained, watched, make sure that they don't mess up. And the minute that the tutor or governor leaves, if they're not trained, they'll mess up. Why? Because their nature isn't changed. Uh, I'm trying to remember who said it years ago. Uh, man, I thought I had his name there for a second. But he said that, was it Maxwell, John Maxwell? Somebody, anyway, he said, um, no, it was somebody else. Anyway, he said <laughs> that what you are is what you do when no one's around. The, the rest is a facade, you know, to some degree. Now, it may be who you want to be, but it's not who you are. And so, really, that's what it comes down to, because that's, that's where your nature, your character comes out. Now, when you are a son or daughter of the living God, and you have been, become a partaker of his divine nature, and if you read there in Peter, he tells you some of the characteristics of his divine nature and tells you how to. He says, by these precious promises, we become partaker. And then he says, you know, add to your faith, temperance, and add. And he goes through the whole list, right, of things that you are to add to, which are things of the spirit. But in the sense, they're spiritual things that you are training the soul how to act and think. Why? Because the spirit knows how to act and think. You, you don't need any training in your spirit. Your spirit is in you. The spirit of God is in you. Now he is in your spirit. He's made your spirit alive. And now that living spirit, which you are, is of God. And now it is trying to train your soul to think in alignment with itself. 